a new program to the to the chamber this coming this school year. It's unique, but it's not new to Wamigo. Uh, many years ago, there was a junior chamber that um, I believe Rosemary Curley had created, and uh, a lot of the board members that are on our board now went through it as students. And as we were sitting through a, a, a board strategic meeting in January and even last year, it came up that was such a great program. It gave youth the opportunity to interact with businesses, to volunteer, and to go through some leadership training and really feel part of the community. I think a lot of students, um, they come to the Tulip Festival, they enjoy Fourth of July, they just know it's there. But to really understand how a uh, community comes together to create these events, um, what a hometown chamber can help in a community, um, kind of that mission is, is a good one to get out to kids that are juniors and seniors in high school as they're choosing their career path. And eventually, hopefully, we'll land back in Walmigo, but they may land you know, in another, another community that will have a chamber and how to be involved in that when they move on from here. I love this quote, volunteering is the ultimate exercise in democracy. You vote in elections once a year, but when you volunteer, you vote every day about the kind of community you want to live in. And I think that's so true, and Wamigo votes every day, and to pass that on to our youth, that train of thought to bring to them throughout their time here and beyond, is what we wanted to do. We knew that bringing a new program on like this and having the students at the high school be part of this um, and really active and engaged, we'd have to find some great individuals at the high school who know and respect and, and like to learn and work alongside faculty um, that are passionate about this. And we caught word that Mary Lonker, who is, um, I think, her 20th year teaching, USD 320 Language Arts. She was also the 2014, wave at the crowd, Mary. She was also the 2014 Kansas Regional Teacher of the Year, which is really awesome. That speaks volumes about the quality of teachers we have here. She was looking to implement a leadership program for the students. And so we met up and thought, how can we do this together, not to duplicate, but to get students understanding leadership and doing it proactively um, for real events and real business needs here in the community. Um, so Jana Lindley, she's also behind the camera here. She's our Wamigo Technology Center Director. She also serves on the Chamber Board. Um, the three of us have been meeting for about five months, putting our heads together on how to create this program and make it meaningful and also impact uh, the community. So she's filming. We're trying to um, include the Technology Center and getting the word out more electronically on what the Chamber's up to. So she's going to film, um, but I'd like to turn it over to Mary at this point because she's got a lot of great knowledge surrounding how we're going to do this program. So, Mary? Yeah. Um, we kind of, Megan covered a lot of it, and like she said, when I did my Teacher of the Year tour, um, a lot of high schools were beginning to implement leadership classes, leadership training, leadership, and so that was a big push out there, and so it was kind of really, really a neat program, and of course are those large, large high schools like Blue Valley, uh, Mays, those high schools that have lots of resources, were able to... Um, do those things pretty easily in their districts. So we started talking about it and why do you even want to do that? And so I had emailed some people from K-State, kind of, kind of talked about it, and ultimately the whole reason behind it is to, to show them how to give back, to help them find ways to give back. You guys, I listen to those kids, I hear them talk, they have such fond memories growing up in Wamigo. They love the Tulip Festival since they're little kids. They love the train. They always, oh, the train. They have, oh, they have, do you remember, blah, 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 and they tell those stories. And of course, the 4th of July here will be something our, our students and our, our community has bragging rights about. They go out, it was something that they always share with others, and it, they come back. So how do we ultimately give back and show them how to become involved in these things? Um, so we really wanted to grow the partnership between high school kids and the community. Not only get them out there to work with you guys, let them see what you do on a daily basis, let them see what is in the scope of your jobs and what you do, and then to have them also help you do that. So that was a big part of this, is how to encourage them to find an avenue 
to go out and meet you and work with you and give back to the community at the same time. Um, so it was kind of a, like I said, Megan and I started talking, Jana, we all started talking about five or six months ago, what do we want, how is this going to look, what are we going to do, how do we incorporate it, and we just kind of started talking. Lots of ideas were thrown out there, but for right now, I think we're going to limit it to juniors and seniors. Um, you know, hopefully that's so many students we don't know what to do with. We just got so many, we're like, oh, every junior and senior volunteer. Um, but, you know, why we get our feet wet and why we figure this out, we're going to try to just limit it to juniors and seniors with the intent that the sophomores come on board, you know, as they come around, and then as our program grows, we'll develop it from there. Uh, we are going to meet in the Technology Center up at the high school. It's a very nice atmosphere. Uh, Jan Lindley has created in there. It's a more business atmosphere. It's away from a classroom. And we're going to do this during our seminar times uh, during the school day. Okay. Um, we've set up some expectations as of right now. Like I said, this is a growing program, but some of the expectations that we really want for the students we really want them to um, give back to the community and, and find a good way to do that. And what were different things that they can do and how can they become involved. We'd also really, really like to show them what a chamber does. What is the responsibilities of a chamber? What do they do and how do they make the community be successful? So in order to do that, we're going to try to run some leadership things through this. We'd like to really talk about different leadership. Um, things that the students might not realize or think about. How do you introduce yourself? What do you do in a community? How do you um, interact with other businesses? How do you just do simple things that maybe escape their mind? We'd also like to get them out into the community with um, business leaders. So you will see them um, starting probably October realistically, maybe September. We're going to have students start attending chamber meeting lunches so they can listen to it, see what it's like. Hopefully, um, we'll have three or four here every month. The morning breakfast, we're going to start trying to get some students to go to that too. Start seeing their faces. I hope you see their happy little smiling faces here. Um, we're trying to also create some volunteerism, and so if you have just simple things that you would like students to help you with, maybe it's something as simple as stuffing envelopes or you know, putting flyers out or helping you do things, we would love that information. If you could give us some of that information or contact myself, Megan, or Jana, um, then we'll give it back to the students and we'll give it, let them know, here, you know, this business needs somebody to go down and work with them this afternoon or this week. If you have some time, can you go down there? So that is one of our expectations, is that they will have to attend chamber luncheons and breakfast. They'll have to do, um, I, I don't want to say have to. They have the opportunity the, to, to get their faces out and help the, the communities as well. Um, and then we're also going to work collaboratively with the Young Entrepreneur program that's starting up at the high school with uh, Mr. Graver. And so our two chambers will kind of work together up at the high school as well, along with our FBLA, the future business leaders. So we're trying to make this a big, giant collaboration between all of them. So this is brand new. Um, we're very, very, very excited about it. I'm very excited about it. I saw those wonderful leadership programs out, in those, and I think this is a great opportunity for Wamigo. Super excited to get it going. Um, it'll be, you know, growing a growing thing. We'll have to learn what we need, what you need, so please contact us with any information as we start. Um, I think that's it. Do you guys have any questions that I can pass off? <laughs> <laughs> oh good, I gave all the information you needed. <laughs> all right, so uh, like I said, as you start See these students, welcome them, and please contact me, Jenna or Megan, if you need help, because we will want them to get, get them out of the community. So we're happy to help. Thanks. And I failed to mention that, you know, the businesses will have an opportunity to sponsor these students at lunch. So if you'd like to actually sponsor one, we can assign a student to you out of this group, and they, you can meet them, you can be kind of their host for the day. It would be kind of daunting as a 17-year-old to come into a group of business leaders. So the point being, they're making connections with you that way. Um, and also, that collaboration between young entrepreneurs and FBLA 
all of those groups do a really good job um, at their mission. Uh, FBLA focuses very well in putting kids into competition. Uh, I was never in FBLA, I probably should have been now that I have this job. But um, <laughs> from what I understand, these groups, uh, we're not duplicating anything, we're only enhancing their experience. Young Entrepreneurs is a new thing to the USD 320. The Chamber actually solely sponsored that in its first year at a, at a level of $3,000 um, to help them get that program off the ground. But it helps students understand how to write a business plan, how to work with a bank. So it's very financially driven. Ours is more those intangibles that you do as a business um, or in community person when you move um, to a community. So thank you very much. I'm very excited. This is unique. Um, hearing from other chambers that we're doing this, they're like, that's cool. We'd love to start to implement something. So we're lucky to have people involved.